so here is my arrangement i have connected a 100 ohm resistor to the four wires of this multimeter and i have switched front panel reading on so i am getting this uh, much resistance so now uh, i will try to measure this resistance value using lab view so for making program i am sharing my screen okay so i have shared my screen and now i am opening lab view interface so first thing i will try to check whether my instrument communicates with my computer or not so this is main thing before making any program you should verify that can you communicate with your instrument or not so for this it's quite simple process there are many process but i'll go with visa visa open and visa close and then visa write and visa read I will write command to identify. And then it should read something. So this is my instrument and let us check. So it is working perfectly fine. Uh, I see the details of my instrument in visa read section. Therefore, uh, I can make further program or for wire measurement. For this, uh, I will modify this program. Okay. Uh, so first, I will disconnect this thing from here. Remove from here. I can disconnect this also. And first, I will reset the instrument. Before resetting command is star RSK. Then again, one more visa right. And write command for uh, four wire measurement so the specific command is sense f you can say function f r e s f means four and r e s means resistance so the command for setting instrument in four wire mode is sense function f r e s and then I have to select range for this measurement. So that will also be done using visa right. So if we know resistance, then we can fix range. But it is good to use auto resistance. So instrument adjust itself to fix some range. So. For setting range, I will write sense F R E S R A N G A N G A U T auto on. So if you have some range, then you can set range from here, but it is good to use auto. And then for accuracy purpose, uh, I will write, uh, I will make offset compensation on. So uh, it will minimize the offset resistance for accuracy. You can make it off also. Uh, you, if you want, you cannot use it, but uh, for better accuracy, I will use offset compensation. So this is tense. F R E S 
on C O M and then then I can fix NPLC. number of power line cycle since fr yes and the lc number then i can put these things for reading So by the count, I will put 1000. So now I think program is ready and all. I can read the system. So this one is for resetting, this one is for setting uh, instrument for using four values, in, and this one for uh, range, and this one for out offset compensation, minimizing offset resistance, and this one for NPLC number of power line cycle. And this, and this is related something with uh, accuracy of measurement, and this, this one is for reading, and here we get data. Resistance and this is R and Ohm default unit is Ohm, so we will get it. And this is for 2C. So let us check it is working or not. Uh, so we have some error related with timeout. Like I, we have to adjust uh, measurement timeout. So I will set timeout here. I will increase this time to 10,000. Now let us check what happens. So actually problem is that uh, I have not put command for reading. So in that, because of that, it is not responding. Uh, it is not measuring. So let us put another user read for reading. I just called it. So this is. I have to add read command here. So. now what happens we will set initial value of time of 2000 let's check what happens uh, about 99.4 oh that uh, we were seen on front panel you can change format of reading in this reading uh, like if we Put fractional exponential string to number and connect this string. So here we will get number and
if we can uh, set format okay so let's say put it on send let us see for what we get this time so now we can get number here is exponential string and here we get number format of this uh, can be changed here from here i think so this is all about how to measure resistance using four wire uh, using lab view from k3 dmm 6570 multimeter thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel